Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. What if I were to tell you that for over a decade, the Chinese Communist Party has been butchering tens of thousands of prisoners of conscience for their organs? Sounds like a story you might want to know about, huh? I recently talked about how Western media, in particular the New York Times and Washington Post, who have been accepting money from the Chinese regime to post their propaganda, have failed miserably and repeatedly in reporting on one of the most horrific genocides in modern history. The Chinese regime harvests organs from executed prisoners. That's a fact. They've admitted it. It's been known internationally since the 80s. But considering China's record of abuse of human rights lawyers, artists, religious adherents, Tibetans, well, it's a big list. Executed prisoners could be anyone. The voluntary organ donation system doesn't work in China because it's culturally taboo. They tried it. It failed. According to a 2011 article in Beijing Today, only 37 people in a country of about 1.3 billion volunteered. But in the most recent article by both the Washington Post and the New York Times about organ harvesting, which is all the way back from March, they say China is ending it. Now let's compare that with what U.S. Congressman Dana Rohrabacher just said at a congressional hearing on September 12th. The CCP and its state security machine uses a wide range of repression and most, the most ghoulish manifestation of this gangsterism is the forced harvesting of organs of the political prisoners and religious followers that it arrests particularly of the Chinese religious movement known as the Falun Gong. So while the New York Times and the Washington Post are saying everything's peachy, the United States Congress is having hearings about the forced harvesting of organs from living Falun Gong practitioners. That's kind of a big difference. And guess what? The Times and the Post didn't even report on the congressional hearing either. For those of you who don't know, Falun Gong is a spiritual practice that became popular in China in the early 90s. So popular, in fact, that the Chinese regime felt it was a threat and decided they needed to be wiped out. At the hearing, witnesses went through the list of evidence that China has been harvesting the organs of tens of thousands of imprisoned Falun Gong practitioners. Evidence like recorded phone conversations with Chinese hospitals that admitted it or the fact that the official number of transplants being performed mysteriously increased by the tens of thousands once tens of thousands of Falun Gong practitioners found themselves in labor camps. And keep in mind that's the official number of transplant. God knows what that means. Also things like doctors being able to schedule an exact day that foreign patients could get an organ, whereas in the U.S. it usually takes around two years to find a match. There's literally dozens of pieces of evidence, and this information has been around as early as 2006. And have you ever heard about it? Granted, it is all circumstantial evidence, but I think it at least bears mentioning in the media. Shame on our journalist community. This is a crime against humanity. We should do our best to identify those specific individuals who are engaged in this and put them on the list of people who deserve to be brought to justice. And specifically, that does not exclude Americans who are willing accomplices to this crime against humanity. So who are these Falun Gong practitioners, and why are they being subjected to this? I'll have more on that in the next episode of China Uncensored.